where in five years you had selling out. But everybody, everybody that saved had to come the same way. I said everybody that came to the Lord that had a real experience had to give up everything. Now I understand, I understand. Some of us didn't follow until we didn't have that much to give up. But no matter how little or how great it was, you had to come to the place where you gave up everything. And Jesus is saying that if you gave up everything, then you got something coming. That's the reason I'm here in Jackson. Look at your neighbor and sing neighbor. If you gave up everything, then you got something coming. I don't care how many people leave the church saying they didn't get their due. The reason they left is because they didn't give up everything. I feel like preaching now. Jesus had taught a lesson. And the Bible says in John the 6th chapter that he had many disciples. He even had some folk that went in the ferry to come across the river to be a part of his meeting. The Bible says in the 6th chapter of John that they were going to make him king. But the reason they were going to make him king is because of what he had did for them. And not because they wanted to surrender their life to him. And he said, except ye eat my flesh and drink my blood, then you have no part with me. And the Bible says that many disciples walked away from him that day and never walked with him again. He turned to the twelve and said, you still here. And this same Peter said, where? To whom shall we go? You got the words to everlasting life. I've come to talk to a few people tonight. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I had to cry, but I can't quit. See, when you've given God everything you have, you don't have anywhere else to go. You might have been hurt in the church, but where else can I go? You might have had folk lie on you, but where else can I go? Do I have anybody here that's given God everything and you don't have anything to go for? I made up in my mind, whatever going to happen in my life is going to happen right here. However blessed I am, sink or swim, rich or broke, healthy or sick, friendless or I got a lot of friends, whatever's going to happen in my life, got to happen right from here, because I came to the place where I can't live without him. He holds my ambitions and he holds my dreams, he holds my future. And he is the center of my joy. I can't live without him. I just need to know if I got anybody in Central Tennessee that recognizes that I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Not just every Sunday, but every hour. I need thee. If you're one of those persons, throw your head back and give God praise. Give them a real praise. But I feel like preaching here. Say yes. 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 Come on and put those hands together. 
you to leave here anymore waiting on somebody to do something to make you feel better. I want you to recognize the decision that you made was the right decision. That when you gave God your life, as a matter of fact, I need somebody to talk back to me. Do I have anybody here that left something on the table? Everybody didn't come to God broke. God told you to come out and you left some stuff on the table. You left dope on the table. You left money on the table. You left women on the table. You left, you left men on the table. You left houses on the table. But God said come out. Lean on somebody and tell them I left stuff on the table. Look at your neighbor and say neighbor. It cost me to be saved. Yes! God brought me. No. I said, God brought me. He brought me from a long way off. Do I have anybody here that knows what I'm talking about? I know it might be lean, but it don't have to be lean. You know how to get money. Look at your neighbor and say, I know how to get money. It might not be legal. And then again, it might be legal. But it ain't holy. And I can't do that no more. Because I left it on the table. Ah, yes. I need somebody that's sanctified and happy about it. To get God praise in this house tonight. Say yes. 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 some things on the table I left some unfinished business but when he called me I had to answer yes sir I had to leave friends I had to leave money I had to leave things I had to leave a future because God told me like he told Abraham said don't take nothing from the king of Sodom because if you take anything from him He's going to say that he made you rich. Shake your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, I can't let my old friends do nothing for me because God has already made me a promise and I can't let them get any of the glory. I got to let God get all of the glory. Do I have anybody here that God is not finished with you? That there's a promise still out there that has not yet manifested. Shake your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, I got some more coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I know I got some more coming because God. And he cannot lie. See ya. I said he cannot lie. I feel like preaching here tonight. I need somebody to help me preach. One day, I was at Perfect, and they were pushing me. And I deputized all of them as preachers. Get me to be flat. All of us preachers, and I told them then, God cannot lie. So if you recognize that you got something coming, and the devil tries to discourage you, put your finger in your ear and repeat after me that whenever the devil tells you it's not going to happen, say. It's too late. It's not gonna happen. 
back to me. in the convocation for Bishop J. Noel Haynes and I had never done this before I stood up and said I got saved when I was 11 I turned 12 the next day the next week and I told God that when I was 12 years old I remember the Lord speaking to me and this is what he said he said if I save you would you be willing to give up your friends what kind of God would ask a 12 year old boy to give up his friends but I didn't know anything and I said not yes right. Lord I like dancing now but when I went back later there was another 12 year old that had a singing career and I remember getting on my knees and telling God I said Lord if I give you my, I was 12 years old. I said, Lord, if I give you my life, then I got to outlive Michael Jackson and I got to live better than Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson died the next day. I said, Lord, I ain't ready to die. But I want you to understand that I gave God an ultimatum. I said, Lord, if I give you my youth, you're going to have to take care of me. Oh, Lord, I feel like preaching now because y'all looking at me strange. I've come to destroy every religious spirit that makes you walk around thinking that if you say you gotta be the poorest man on the planet because somehow we think that if we have riches we have to be carnal but if we broke we're more spiritual that's not true I want you to understand something that your attitude determines your altitude you have to recognize what Paul says having nothing but possessing everything Oh, Lord, whatever I want, I'm losing somebody. 